several questions about the new hotel. And for those of you that don't know about it, um, there's a proposal to put in the hotel on the old Diamond Lumber site, the tractor place downtown, 66 rooms, um, 80 car parking lot behind that. They're just in the planning stages now. They have approval to move to the next level. So the questions are, and it's a very high-end project um, for those of you that haven't seen the plans. Um, there was a meeting in the uh, planning commission last, last week to just move to the next step. So if you're interested, you keep your eyes open for that. It's, you know, yeah. So what do you mean by high-end? How do you define that? The, the folks that own the Healdsburg Hotel on H2 are, are doing this. So it's a, it's a really, uh, the rooms are going to start at probably three or 400 a night on up. Um, so it's an interesting, uh, I, I won't put any spin on it, you know, but it's uh, an interesting architectural design and stuff. Uh, they've done a lot of work. They know what they're doing. The group does. They've been following their steps. Anyway, I'd like to move on and let each of the candidates talk about what they think about this hotel and the impact that it's going to have on the city. Uh, we'll start with Michael. Well, I've been to nearly every meeting on the hotel. Uh, they have, they've been very open to developers, and they've been open to hearing from the public on it. I am in support of having the hotel, um, in part, of course, because it's GOT tax. Uh, it will uh, create a bridge between the borough and the downtown. Of course, we will always have that main highway until we get a bypass, just dividing the downtown and the, the borough. Um, I just uh, I had a map here from 1911, and uh, at uh, McKinley Street and North Main Street, there is the site of the U.S. Hotel. So it's not new to the downtown. Uh, it's something that uh, is there. In fact, it is part of the hotel complex in nearly the same spot that my shop is now. There's actually a cobbler there, along with the, the parlor and the bar. <laughs> the dining room. So it's not something that's new to the downtown core, and it may invigorate with their help. You know, I think that it would be good. Thank you, Michael. Craig? I also support the project that is being proposed for there. There are some concerns that we have to watch out for. We don't want to become Millsburg. And I think we have a real unique opportunity. Well, unique is unique. We have a unique opportunity to redefine what tourism is for Sebastopol. People come here, a lot of people come here because they like the local flavor and global vision. They like that we sheet mulch the lawn in front of City Hall, that we put edible landscaping in at the Barlow, that we have all of these different community events. I think that as we attract tourists, and I agree with Michael, we need that TOT. There are a lot of competing interests. Every department needs money. And we, but we don't want to gentrify. So we have to be cautious of that. Uh, and, and really, you know, for the folks that go into those rooms, it's going to free up some lower cost rooms in the other hotels. So with those who have means, for those who have means, let's let them pay. Let's get the TOT. But let's be very cautious in how we define what tourism is for us. Thank you, Craig. Jonathan? And, and I, I agree with what's been said. I, I, I feel that we should have an analysis of new projects. What we're really concerned about is traffic as it relates to tourism. So what is bad? The Dairy Dan Winery, an event center is bad. You know, hundreds, thousands of people coming in, you know, huge amount of traffic, we get almost no taxes. Hotels are relatively benign, and I think we should apply like, like cars per thousand dollars of revenue to the city factor in looking. Had we done that, by the way, CVS, which reduces the amount of sales tax because pharmacies don't pay sales tax, you know, is a really bad deal for our city. We get tons of traffic and we don't get very much tax revenue. So as we do this trade-off, hotels, a hotel like this could, could very well be a useful way to bring in tourists and, and significant tax revenue. I mean, I'm seeing somewhere between three and $600,000 of additional revenue a year to the city. You know, CVS, by the way, will be reducing the sales tax that it pays when it opens, and we will get traffic up to the eyeballs. So that's the way I would weigh things like this. Lisa, thank you, Jonathan. So um, 
you know, this comes up in almost every forum that we're in, and um, I have, I was an early uh, supporter leaning for the, towards the hotel. I've talked about it a number of times. Uh, you know, it's a beautiful project, and I agree with Craig that it will free up rooms in the other hotels um, because now we'll have three hotels to choose from. It also will be a bridge between the Barlow and the downtown, and that's all public access space. So we'll all be able to walk in to this courtyard. There'll be a public art piece and enjoy that. Um, they had community meetings. It's gonna have rain catchment systems. It's um, a beautiful design, and so um, I just, and we've got the tax revenue to build our bike lane. So there's a lot of pluses. I hope that they will do a living wage for their employees because at that room rate, they can certainly pay their employees a living wage to work there, and that will hopefully boost the whole community. Thank you, Thank you sir.